Hey everybody, Dutch Sense here. 4.34 p.m. Central Time on Wednesday, April 2nd, 2014. And I've got you over here on NOAA's National Data Buoy Center. This is a site that keeps track of all the buoys in global oceans, which keep track of the wave height. This is for tsunami warning purposes, also for tracking other types of wave events. And you can see all of these are in event mode now around the entire ring of fire. Now this is following yesterday's 8.2, some agencies reporting an 8.3 magnitude earthquake, which struck off the shores of Chile, producing a tsunami in Peru, Chile, Ecuador, even going north, warnings issued all the way up the west coast. Uh, NOAA issued this video, I'll go ahead and play it here for you, found by Earthspace102. I want to give them a shout out for even finding this to begin with. And you'll see this here. Let me go ahead and make this full screen. You'll see as the wave develops, it goes all the way up the west coast of the United States, south towards Antarctica, and we have waves three foot high reported in Hawaii and possible waves reported all the way over here in Japan to be arriving soon. So you can see the way this is spreading out as it hits each island chain the back end islands, the back sides of each island are receiving the larger wave portion from this. And that happens as the wave curls around each island. It goes up the back side of the island and causes a greater wave height on the back side of the island than on the front side where it's receiving the brunt of the wave. It's pretty interesting to see that happen. And it's happening all around the ring of fire. The entire ring of fire being displaced at some portion by this large earthquake here in Chile. Just wanted to show that to you guys, get that out to the world, let you know. If you're looking at the, the buoy center, you're seeing something going on here. This is the wave propagation across the entire Pacific from that earthquake. Cheers, guys. Much love.